So what's what's happening now is uh, Lucy is about to prepare um, a cauliflower cheese, she, yeah, uh, and she's grating the cheese for the cheese sauce. Is that right, Lucy? Yep, that's right. Yeah. Is any kind of cheese particularly good for this? Well, this or? is, I think, a nice strong mature cheese. Mm -hmm. Like a cheddar. A taste to it. Yeah. That's from the local cheese shop. Uh, is that that little outlet they have within Netto? It's um, a nice smooth motion down the grain. Mm -hmm. That's nice though, that's, that's very nice. Yeah, zoom in on that a little short, bit just to really get people. Short, with. sharp, firm. Yeah. You need that pressure there so that the cheese actually gets grated. It does, so that's actually grating. How much pressure do you like to apply on the grater? To... A lot that, of pressure. That is actually grating. Right? That's, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a bit of common mistake is that people just do this and then it doesn't grate. <laughs> you need. <laughs> We like we're talking about the, we're talking about children in the infirm, aren't we, Lucy? <laughs> really here, yeah. rather than your, your general punter. <laughs> yeah. That's looking pretty. I mean, that's, that cheese looking good enough to eat on its own. I want four transit. Do you think transit. more cheese than this? I think that's probably enough, yeah, Lucy. Let's see how much we've got there. This we're talking for. This is where many we're serving today. You think oh. of it in cauliflowers. So I mean, yeah. that that cheese to that cauliflower. Yeah. The, the volume of cheese is probably about half of the volume of the cauliflower. Yeah, I suppose it depends on the strength of your cheddar as well. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's a pretty good cheddar. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good cheddar. It's, yeah, it's oh. not. I, I would normally use, I think, something a bit stronger. Okay. Maybe, right. but I mean. Sip the flour. Yeah, I've you never sipped flour for okay, a yeah. white sauce. I, I do. And I'm, I'm I quite do. nervous about this white sauce. It's always a bit hit and miss. You don't want lumps. If there are lumps, then there's nothing you can do about it, it'll taste fine, but it's just not ideal. Um, with a whisk, you normally avoid a lump, don't yeah, you? Yeah, no, it's still difficult, though. I think it's all to do with the heat. Right. So, take a nice... I do everything by eye. Nice, that's, big... That's a, that's, a, that's a good chunk of that. that's too much, or do, maybe use this little one. one. Maybe use that one there. So yeah, I think so. So you just want so to melt that. That's going in the pan there. The thing with white sauce I find is everything happens at once. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's go, go, go. You've really got to be you've ready got, for it. You've got like a 10 second critical kind of time where, you know, everything's just got a sink or swim. How do you, how do you get in the mood to get ready now? How do you, you stretch? Psychologically, you're it's, you know, just kind of you know, it's how you cope with stressful situations. So. I mean, there was a lot of stirring involved. Is there any sort of, sort of arm stretching you can do beforehand just to sort of prevent any aches or sort just, of tensing? Um, or... Whenever, I, before I start cooking, I always, you know, do, I have like a, just like this kind of... Just, just like, <laughs> just, yeah. yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, well... Um, just general fitness, really, keeping yourself in shape. Yeah. So either we're melting that butter. Melting that. That's, right, now that might melting. be on a little bit too high. Okay. You don't, you don't want to burn the flour. If it's too high, no, what do you we're, do? We're approaching the down. critical time here. We're approaching the critical time. This just sitting, just sitting that in. Lucy does like to cut into a flour before for white sauce, um, <laughs> which is un unconventional. It kind of does have a big hole in the bottom. It's almost got a massive crack in it, yes. But <laughs> no. I think a lot, a lot of people don't, don't prepare their flour at all, so this will definitely help. And there's quite a lot of it going on the top as well. <laughs> I might just pour it. I think maybe, I mean, ideally you'd um, sieve it in, but that's fine. It's alright, yeah. this, this isn't an ideal so world. Wanna, I mean, this is that kind of stick it, so you want to get a consistency, you want it to kind of... Get, get in there the top. You want to get, you know, see that? Oh, you, you is that, that, is that what we call a, uh, um, a paste? A roux? Is that something else? I think it's a roux. It is a, a roux. Can I have the milk, please? Now this is the, we're really at the really critical time now. Okay. This, this, this is, this is it now. Have you got the milk? Okay, now can you slowly add that milk to there? Slowly, yeah. slowly. Like, and stop and stop. Okay, so if you add too much milk, it will, it'll, it'll go in lumps. So, and more milk, please, a little bit more. What stage do you, do you transfer Stop. to the whisk? Um, you need a bit more slack than this. Right. So, so I mean, you know, maybe a minute will be good in there. But right now, milk, please, milk. And it's really, if you add too much milk at once, then you are going to fuck it up. So stop. So just... That's <laughs> maybe, no, I think this is going to be okay. I think this is going to be okay. Is it whisk time yet or not? Um, almost, almost. I'm going to get the whisk in there soon. And you see, we've got it on low heat still, so it is cooking still. And that heat's letting it all incorporate in there. Uh, Wait, she's got the whisk ready there. Brilliant. Okay, I think we should whisk that now. Do you think that's enough white sauce? Uh, probably not. Do you not think so? I mean, we can always add more milk at this stage, can't it we? It will thicken, so yeah. yeah we'll I think we probably will need a bit more milk. And going in there as well. Can we just pour milk? I think so. It's, it's a reasonable size cauliflower. Thank you. Yeah, a... Okay, so I'm going to 
people do like the white sauce. You know, we have got the gravy as well, though. If it's too saucy, then you're going to have the sauce and the gravy mixing into like a sludge. So I think we want quite like a thick cauliflower cheese, quite yeah. a, you know, a, a stiff cauliflower cheese. You can oh. see that that is a beautiful white sauce. That is stunning. That is, I mean, that, stunning. That, that's beautiful. And I mean, you know, a rookie mistake would be at this point to add salt. Really? Which you don't do, want to do. Do people add salt? Some really? people would add salt and it'd be wrong because you're adding the cheese and cheese has got a lot of salt. Uh, so you want, to, you want to season it after you put the cheese in. Right. Okay, I think that's now done. We can take that off the heat. That, that was one of the quickest white sauces I've ever seen. No, I'm not. I don't, really, I don't really toil over about 15 you've seen, minutes. You've seen a fair few white sauces. Right? I was saying my time, yes. Uh, just so we're adding the cheese. We're still on the heat or are we off the heat? Off the heat now, off the right, heat. Because okay. that residual heat is going to melt the cheese. Oh, right, okay. Don't need... Energy saving as well. Mm -hmm. Do we not want to season with parsley? Two sticks. Why is it saying it's... Where did you get the part? Wilkinson's. Well, there you are. Limited. Pepper? Yep, a bit of pepper. Once again, one of our standard seasoning tools for the meal. Put pepper in there, not too much. Thanks, Rachel. Yeah, my Jesus. Is there enough residual heat or not? No, no, there will be. There will be. Okay. But that, that's going to be that's going to be fine. Okay. And actually, I Do might need to make be a little bit more cheese and put it on top of the cauliflower Great. cheese and okay. browns. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Just uh, cutting this into flowets. So I think for kind of cheese, you don't want you want quite large pieces, I think. Okay. Bit of bite. Yeah, and also when you're boiling it, if they're too small, they kind of get soggy. You know, you don't want that. Here come the flowets. Oh, lovely. Okay, so done. when you put them in the water, you don't want to drop them too heavily. They might get a bit splashy. <laughs> Health and safety is a pretty big concern in the kitchen, isn't it, Lucy? It is. It is. We laugh, but we take our health for granted sometimes. Well. Lucy's having a bite of a flower's there. How is it? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good, good one? It's crispy. Just boiled till it's almost cooked. I normally do a fairly flower cheese. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because you really just want to just sort of uh, brown it off in the oven, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think some people might even just put a stick on the grill for a bit, perhaps, if the Oh, yeah, exactly, you could do, yeah. I like to have it in the oven so that the cauliflower cheese sauce really sort of melts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
probably better safer with more cheese than too little cheese with Definitely. more cheese. There we go. Uh, you can put it alongside the roast, I think. Oh.